To understand Eric Brewer's CAP theorem, we have to first understand three attributes. So the first one is consistency. The same data becomes available to all of the nodes at the same time. The second is availability. All available nodes need to process all incoming requests and return a valid response. The third one is partition. The cluster must continue to work despite any number of communication breakdowns between nodes in the system. Now what Eric Brewer's CAP theorem says, it is impossible to build a distributed system that would simultaneously guarantee consistency, availability and partition tolerance. That means only two of the three attributes that we have discussed can be met at a time. For example, MongoDB trades high availability for consistency. It's a CP data store. And Cassandra, on the other hand, is an AP data store. It delivers availability and partition tolerance, but cannot deliver consistency all the time. So that's why companies use the functional partitioning of the web services layer and different data stores based on the business needs.